What's up guys? Today we're at Hungara Ring in the Super Formula Lights. We're gonna get ready for this race start here. And we are red lights and lights out and away we go. We got a great start here. I think this is Max ahead of us. We got clear to our left. We'll try to weave. Try to get around these outside here. Cold tires gets the car a little bit snappy. Got a car coming up our right rear here. A little bit of a lock up in front of us and us. We are working our way up. Oh, big wreck ahead. It's all right. Rejoining car. He's all right. We get by on the right side. Clear. A little bit of a break and lift. Wrecking ahead. Oh. No! Tried to avoid that wreck. And it just did not work out for us. The hit, uh, we almost had it too. Just that bump onto the pavement was way too much. Got our car around. We got some more work to do here. Got to chase down Chris Zahn in front of us. That was super unfortunate. We had nowhere to go to the right. That car to the left was stopped right before he got off the track i was really hoping he was going to keep going off and then when we when we got back on it just launched us got our car to our right here shouta gets by up our inside and we were just not paying attention to our gear selection correctly just gotta make sure we get a good run down the straight here Uh, cold tires in the Super Formula Lights can be very tricky on that first lap. After that first lap, they really start to come in, and it's not that bad. He gave him way too much space. Almost held us up, but we got by as well. And that is by Chris Zahn, up to 14th position again. We're going to try to latch, latch on to Shouda here. Shouda, Shouda. I don't know. I'm going to try to latch on to him. Because he seems like he is moving. We're going to latch on and just follow him through the pack here. Oh, he's taking a lot of curb. I think we're going to tr start trying that. Ooh, and Dan locks up. Which might allow us to run up the inside. No, we're a little bit too hesitant. We're going to run around the outside and he's just going to let us go. There's a lot of curbs at Hungara Ring. Another big wreck in front of us. That's Stewart. Losing the rear a little bit there. We got a point eight to shout out here, up to 12th position on lap three. We're going to be about a 13 lap race here. We've got just enough space ahead of us where we've got clear enough air to kind of do as we wish. Really, not have to worry about what Shooter is doing in front of us. Max ahead is one point three seconds out. But we are closing in on him as well. Ooh. And Shuda goes around, loses the rear end after putting that front right tire on that inside curb. And that's a free position for us up to 11th.
closing in on max about eight tenths behind could have shifted down an extra gear there but it's all right on the power hard focus on getting that slipstream close up and maybe make something work in the braking zone here Would have liked to get that car rotated earlier. So maybe next time we'll turn in a bit sooner. But we are right onto the back of Max here. Two tenths of a second behind. Right on him. Gotta be careful how fast he's gonna take this corner. He's gonna break huge. And we've got a slow down penalty for it. Unfortunate circumstance there. I knew it was going to happen. I should have lifted earlier, given him some space through it, and got the run through. Because that would have given us the pass on the exit. But it's alright. We lived. We didn't crash. Oh, we ride the curb. Could not turn, our wheel was almost completely to the right, but we just could not turn with the floor and the plank riding the curb there. There are four tenths behind Max. See if this slipstream can get us close enough to make a move in the braking. I might try to dive down his inside here. We seem to be a bit better on the braking zone. And not this lap. We are aware he does like to slow down a bit extra for this left-hander coming up. So we're going to create a gap or we're going to get the run side by side before then. And he lets us through. He seeds the position and we are through. On to chasing Nicholas. Three and a half seconds ahead of us. Put down some good laps here and try to catch up. Felipe is 1.2 behind battling with max looks like he might be getting by they are side by side and no felipe's in the wall couldn't tell if there was a person at fault there felipe just got too too throttle happy there and just punched it get the car rotated on the power early Get the run down the straight. Thirty-seven nines. That is two tenths faster than the Nicholas ahead of us fastest lap. So we do have the pace. That too far over the curb. Gotta get the car rotated a little bit more before we get on the gas there. Almost lost it, too much lift off oversteer. We are closing the gap to Nicholas ahead. 3.2 seconds. See him at the end of the some of these straights here.
And I think there is somebody just in front of him as well that we could also catch up. Antonio right ahead of him in our sights as we near the halfway mark of this race. Thirty-seven one. We are significantly faster than some of these guys. Two and a half seconds. Ooh, almost didn't break soon enough. We got it. Make sure we get a good run through this left-hander. Probably our fastest run through there yet. Way out to the curbs, and we are closing rapidly. Oh, we break too late. Make a huge mistake. I don't know how that was an off track, but okay. That's all right. We actually did not lose much time for that. Nicholas must have made a mistake as well. But Antonio is losing touch. Sorry, Nicholas is losing touch with Antonio. Not turning in soon enough. I got to keep my eyes on the apexes here. Not looking at where the curbing that I'm breaking on is going. That is the best tip I can give to anyone learning how to sim race is watch the corner that is coming up. Do not look where are you are currently heading. Look where you want to be going. And we're nearing Nicholas 1.2 seconds behind. Great run through that corner. Probably our best yet. Get a little bit of a front lock there. We could have gotten on the power sooner. We have closed within one second here, though. This is going to be a three way battle for 8th position oh, just get the car turned gotta be a little bit nicer with our inputs smooth is fast we make a move up the inside of Nicholas and we are through Oh, he's making a comeback on our inside, and he turns us. And he's back into the wall. Antonio is gone. We're not going to see him the rest of this race. But up four laps left. Do you have everything muted to see if they've got something to say? <laughs> Nothing so far. 4.7 to Antonio. Can we regroup and chase him down yet again? We have secured ourselves a top 10 finish, but it would be nice to get ourselves further into that top 10. After two horrendous accidents at the start and at right after the halfway point of this race. Pull a tear off, get some clear vision and start charging. We seem to be rapidly closing in on Antonio. We are accruing off tracks like no tomorrow. And that is quite honestly one of the things I've really got to work on. 
is being a bit more precise about where I'm placing my car and where the off-track mark is on the on the track and the car. Oh, too slow, turned in too early. It didn't hurt us too badly there. And we got an off track for something. I don't remember seeing. Really something I got to start paying attention to more is those off tracks as the safety rating will not climb. And that is why the off tracks. We do have a yellow flag coming up ahead. And it is gone now. I wonder what happened there. It must be, I cannot say this person's name, I'm sorry. Artyom, Artem. I'm assuming he got too uh, overzealous on the throttle and spun, but he is now four seconds ahead of us in seventh place rather than 14 like he was earlier. That's a big blunder for him, but a big opportunity for us. We have about three laps left. We are closing in and in, in, in on Antonio. And he's just about to be within our striking distance. A few more corners and we'll be able to start making moves. 1.6 seconds. Max behind is 14 and a half seconds out. Don't have to worry about him. We might have a run after this left hander here. So a lot of people seem to be slow through there. Not quite, but we did close up some time. Artem is... We are closing in on Artem. He is falling back towards us. We are running hot laps right now. Some of our best laps ever. Just gotta stay close enough to get the slipstream down the straight and make a move up that inside in the braking zone. Two tenths ahead. Closing in quickly. And it almost looked like he lifted for us. We're going to go way out there, take that off track, because, you know, we already got 11, why not 12? And Artem is our next target, 2.1 seconds out. Two laps to go. We are on the penultimate lap here. Can we take away yet another position for a total of 11 positions gained this race? Pull a tear off, get some clean vision. Ugh. Did not manage that weight transfer very well there. Within one second now. We are on to the final lap of the race. Two times behind Artem here. 
grabbing this slipstream. He is going to defend, and he's going to defend hard. We're going to go way out to the outside, be able to take the nice racing line here. Break hard, give him room. Not going to be able to cross under him. That was a four. That was a four X for contact. We were nowhere as close. Sounds good. We cannot afford an off track here. We are at a 16x because of a netcode 4x. Arnhem had some great defense there. But it was not enough. He is still keeping us honest though. He is not falling behind quick. He makes a move around the outside. We are able to shut it down. Go to defend the inside. The lapper moves out the way. I think we are going to be able to fend him off for 7th position overall, starting from 18th, and yes we are. What a great race, some sloppy off tracks, a little bit of net code, but overall great racing today. So let's take a look at our results here. Ooh, the safety rating took a huge hit with a .72, I think that's just because we went under 0.2 we were sitting at 0.15 we probably lost 0.17 or whatever it was and it just dropped another 0.4 so unfortunate so big hit to the safety rating we'll get that back up not a big deal it's mainly just off tracks pushing too hard not really focusing about staying right within track limits and unfortunately that is a part of the racing you have to stay within track limits and just couldn't do that but it is something we'll have to work on. Getting the I-rating back up. We did lose a, f a bunch uh, the other day. Just kind of switching cars and tracks without too much practice. And it lost over 300 I-rating. So we're climbing that back up to 1900. No big deal. We had a 36-4. It was the fastest lap of the race. A 35-4 from Raphael way down in what is it 14th so i mean we were, we were on pace with the guys up front for sure we could definitely the average lap time is not great but that might have been because of traffic or just making mistakes i'm sure if we were up front we definitely could have gotten it down to you know battle with these guys up front if you guys enjoyed like subscribe tune in next time we're going to be checking out some really underrated series in iRacing that don't get as much love as they deserve. Stuff like TCR, Pro 4 Trucks, Pro 2 Trucks, Rallycross. Rallycross is a ton of fun and it's just not popular. And I, I don't understand why because it is some of the quickest boom, boom, boom races you can get into. And they are the most fun, action-packed, start to finish. I mean, and... They're incredibly forgiving in terms of you can really bang doors with people and not get punished for it. You know, it's not like Super Formulas or Formula One cars where, you know, you tap tires and boom, your race is done. No, you slam into doors of uh, you know the other person and you keep going like nothing happened. You don't even know that somebody slammed into your door. It's, a, it's great fun and great racing side by side the entire time right on top of each other and it's a quick sprint race uh you know 40 second lap times 10 15 laps and then it's over and it's honestly it's some of the best racing you can get on the service